today on the Bill Kelly Show on 900 CHML. June is Scleroderma Awareness Month, and uh, over the years we've uh, tried to offer our support, of course, on this program for the great work that's going on in the volunteers and the, and the programs that are in place. I mean, there, there are a number of different challenges for people, of course, that are living with scleroderma and not, not just the individuals who may be living with it, but of course, families and friends and, and others in, in their extended circles. Uh, John Malcolmson is the executive director for Scleroderma Canada. Uh, he joins us uh, almost a, an annual tradition. John, great to have you back in the program today. Great to be here, Bill. You're always so supportive of Scleroderma, so we appreciate uh, the t- time to speak with you. Well, we've seen firsthand, especially here in southern Ontario, the great work of, uh, well, your board, certainly, and but the volunteers, always amazing. And, and of course, we've mentioned in, in both our markets, of the Hamilton Station, CHML, and, of course, uh, in London at, uh, at CFPL, uh, the incredible organizations there and the, and the rallying in June to try to, to raise awareness and certainly to raise funds for for the great work that, uh, that the, you guys are doing and, and so many wonderful people in the medical profession are doing. Yeah, both communities are strong communities and very supportive of the scleroderma patients. Our volunteers, our patients are always very uh, involved in the community, wanting to raise awareness, do advocacy work. And of course, both hospitals, St. Joe's London, St. Joe's mm-hmm. Hamilton, led by Dr. Maggie Larche in Hamilton and Dr. Janet Pope in London, are just outstanding uh, scleroderma facilities for our patients to be able to go for treatments and for new patients to learn about what the future entails with them living with this disease from uh, two experts in the field. I'm always learning more from you, though, every time we, we get in touch with this, and especially in June. You just mentioned about St. Joe's London and, of course, St. Joe's and Hamilton as, as great centers for, for care and, and support for people that are living with scleroderma. If you're living in London and Hamilton, that's great news. Uh, but an awful lot of people that are, are, are faced with these challenges have to travel usually pretty great distances to get to, the, to places like St. Joe's, don't they? They sure do. Um, you know, our country's huge. This year for my June Awareness Program, I'm actually doing some fundraising for specifically for three patients who have to travel a total of a, a thousand and seventy six kilometers to see their scleroderma patients. Jillian, who lives in uh Cavendish uh, Newfoundland, has to go five hundred kilometers round trip to see her scleroderma specialist in Saint John's. And Lori out in Red Deer, Alberta has to go to Edmonton uh once a month, and then has to go again once a month to Calgary to see her different doctors. So, yes, it's uh, unfortunate, but, uh, you know, it's great that we do have specialists in those uh, communities that are there to help our, our patients. Well, and as we talk about every year, because every year it seems to be a different story, uh, there are great strides being made here. Scleroderma, of course, is a rare disease. A lot of people don't know much about it. Uh, a lot of people that are trying to live with it don't know much about it. And, and uh, there have been some incredible things done in research in the last little while. And, of course, better research leads to better treatment, doesn't it? It sure does. And the other thing that's been really great, Bill, is thanks to our patients and our doctors, the advocacy work. And just recently, uh, and 2022 of September, Ministry of Health in Ontario approved uh, Sildenafil to Datafil, which the common name for our viewers there would be Viagra, which is, you know, helps with all our patients who are dealing with Raynaud's and blood circulation. And this is huge because now it's affordable for our patients to be able to take it and it eliminates our patients to go to St. Joe's Hamilton or St. Joe's uh, London for infusions. And the impact that has on the uh, the healthcare system and hallway medicine. Well, and we talk about scleroderma, of course, uh, as a rare disease, but also as an autoimmune disease. And 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 I guess what kind of exacerbates some of the concern here, John, as you've talked about in the past, is that oftentimes people that are living with scleroderma usually are impacted by some of the other autoimmune diseases too. You you kind of get a mixed bag here, don't you? You sure do. And not one single patient is similar to another patient. It's incredible. They all have, you know, there's multiple signs and symptoms that uh, people live with from, uh, you know, skin, digestive, to lungs, kidneys, heart. Fundraising, as, as you're doing, is a big part of this. And some people may be under the mistaken assumption that, oh, these guys get scads of money from the government for research. Uh, you wish. I know. Uh, a lot of this is just through the donation and the generosity of, of uh, volunteers and people in the community. And uh, this is as good a time as any uh, to talk about how they can help you out here and where they should go to, to, to get information about how they can help out. Yes, uh, this is as good a time as any because this Saturday we are going to be having our Hamilton June Awareness Make a Move event at Phil Cope Museum Park. 
mm-hmm. parking is free at the Community Church. And we'll be starting at 9 in the morning, and at 10 o'clock, we're going to have a little bit of yoga that one of our patients is going to be leading for people. So you're welcome to bring your yoga mat. And then at uh, 10.30, we're going to go for a little walk uh, around the Bill Coat Museum Park. It's going to be a great day. It helps us generate lots of needed funds for uh, research, and uh, hopefully uh, people in the area are able to attend. If not, they could go to makeamovecanada.ca and donate there, or they could go to our, the Scleroderma Society of Ontario's website, which is hardword.ca. The one in Ancaster, of course, is going to be fabulous. You guys do a great job on this every year. Uh, but there are other uh, planned uh, activities in other communities, too. So if you're not in the Hamilton area, go to that webpage, and they can tell you where they're going. John, as always, uh, thank you for this today, and uh, good luck going forward on this with the great work that you and your staff are doing. Thank you very much, Bill. John Malcolmson, Executive Director for Scleroderma Canada.